Zoom offers an array of features that may be utilized while in a virtual meeting. In this video, we will go over some of those features including changing your virtual background, screen sharing, breakout rooms and much more. Feature 1. Virtual Backgrounds Virtual backgrounds allow you to display an image as your background instead of what is naturally behind you. In a Zoom meeting, click the upward arrow next to start slash stop video. Click choose virtual background. Click on the desired image or add your own image by clicking plus sign and choosing if you want to upload an image or a video. Feature 2. Sharing content. While in a meeting, you can share an area of application dispersed among three tabs. Click the share screen button located in your meeting controls. Notice the three tabs at the top of the window, basic, advanced and files. The basic tab. Here you can share your entire desktop, specific applications, the whiteboard and iPhone slash iPad screen and more. Please note that you would share your desktop if you want the audience to see what you have open on your desktop. For example, if you are switching between sharing a Word document and a website or if you are running a PowerPoint presentation and have links to the website embedded within, this will ensure that anything you launch on your desktop will be visible to the audience. Also, if you're sharing a video, be sure to select the shared computer sound and optimize screen sharing for video clip checkboxes. If sharing an application such as Excel, have that application open and ready to share. The Advanced tab. Here you have the option of sharing a portion of your screen, music or computer sound only or the second camera. The Files tab. This gives you the option to share a OneDrive or SharePoint file. Please note that you will have to sign into those services. In this example, we will choose a Word document from the basic tab to share. When you start sharing your screen, the meeting controls will move into the menu. Mute slash unmute. This allows you to mute or unmute your microphone. Start slash stop video. This allows you to start or stop your in meeting video. New share. This allows you to start a new screen share. You will be prompted to select which screen you want to share again. Pause share. This allows you to pause your current shared screen. Annotate. This displays annotation tools for drawing, adding tags, etc. Chat. This opens the chat window. More. However, more for additional options. Record. This allows you to start recording locally or to the cloud. Meeting info. This shows the current meeting's ID, host, passcode, invite link, your participant ID, and encryption status. Enable annotation for others. This allows or prevents the participants from annotating on your shared screen. Click the stop share icon on the menu to stop sharing the screen. Feature 3. Security. Click security in meeting controls. This allows the host or the co-host of the meeting to enable or disable options during the meeting to secure the meeting and minimize the disruption. Lock meeting. This skips the new participants from joining the meeting. Enable waiting room. This enables the waiting room for incoming new participants or to move the current participants into the waiting room. Hide profile pictures. This hides all the profile pictures including the host. Display names are shown instead. Share screen. This allows the participants to share their screens. Chat. This allows the participants to use the chat function. Rename themselves. This allows the participants to rename themselves from the participants panel. Unmute themselves. This allows the participants to unmute themselves without the host permission. Start video. This allows the participants to start their video in the meeting. Remove participant. This allows the removal of the participant from the meeting. The participant cannot rejoin unless allow removed participants to rejoin is enabled in the meeting settings. Suspend participant activities. This turns off all the participants' video, audio, and ability to share their screen. Also, locks the meeting to prevent the participants from joining. Feature 4. Manage participants. Please note this is a host privilege only. Click participants in the meeting controls to display the participants list. Hover the mouse over the participant and click More. A drop-down menu appears with options which allows you as a host to control the participant's screen, video, and audio. Ask to unmute slash mute. Chat. This opens the chat window to send messages directly to the participant.
stop video this stops the participants video stream so they are unable to start their video if the participant hasn't started their video you will see ask to start video option pane this pains the video so that it is always visible on your screen make host this assigns the participant to be the host there can only be one host rename this changes the participant's name that is displayed to other participants this change only applies to the current meeting. Place note to change your own name that is displayed. Hover over your name in the participants list and click rename. You can permanently change your name in your profile. Put in waiting room. Place the participant in a virtual waiting room while you prepare for the meeting. The host must enable the waiting room for this option to appear. Remove. This dismisses the participant from the meeting. They won't be able to rejoin unless you allow the participant to rejoin. Feature 5. Breakout Rooms Breakout rooms will allow you to split your Zoom meeting in up to 50 separate sessions. Please note that only the hosts can create the breakout sessions. However, both the host and the co-host can move amongst the breakout rooms. Click Breakout Room icon in Meeting Controls. Select the number of rooms you would like to create and how you would like to assign your participants to those rooms. Automatically, this lets the Zoom split your participants up evenly into each of the rooms. Manually, this allows you to choose which participants you would like in each room. Let participants choose room. This allows the participants to select and enter the rooms on their own. Click Create Breakout Rooms. After creating the breakout rooms, click Options. A menu pops up. Check options that you would like to use for your breakout rooms. Allow participants to choose room. This allows the participants to select and enter the rooms from their own once the rooms are launched. Allow the participants to return to the main session at any time. If this option is checked, the participants can move back to the main session from their meeting controls. If this is disabled, they need to wait for the host or the co-host to end the breakout rooms. Automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. Checking this option will move all the participants into the breakout rooms automatically. If this option is unchecked, the participants will need to click option join to be added to the breakout room auto close breakout rooms after certain minutes if this option is checked the breakout rooms will automatically end after the configured time notify me when the time is up if this option is checked the host and the co-host will be notified when the breakout time is up set countdown timer if this option is checked the participants will be given a countdown of how much time they have left before being returned to the main room then click open all rooms to start the breakout rooms all assigned participants will be moved to their respective rooms after confirming the prompt to join the breakout room if the participant has not joined the session yet it will be noted by not join next to their name feature 6 polling this allows you to create a single choice or multiple choice polling questions click polls in the meeting controls click add question or add a poll you will be redirected to a web page where you can add poll questions. Click Add to begin creating the poll. Enter a title and your first question. Click the anonymous checkbox to make the poll anonymous, which will keep the participants' polling information anonymous in the meeting and in the reports. In the top right corner, select whether you want the question to be single choice or multiple choice. Type in the answers to our question and click save at the bottom. If you would like to add a new question, click add question to create a new question for that particular poll. Click the polls in the meeting controls. Select the poll you would like to launch. Click launch polling. Then click end poll. If you would like to share the results to the participants in the meeting, click share results. Participants will then see the results of the polling question. Feature 7 raise hands slash emotions click the reactions button at the bottom of the screen and click on raise hand option or choose the reaction to post feature 8 chat click on the chat icon in the meeting control this opens the chat window in the chat window click more to display in meeting chat settings save chat this allows to save all chat messages in text file
share file in meeting. This allows to send a file in the chat. Feature 9 Record Click the record icon on the meeting control. Select Record to the cloud to begin recording. To stop recording, click pause slash stop recording or end meeting. Once the recording has been stopped, the recording will be processed before viewing. Zoom will send an email to the host email address when the process is completed. Feature 10 Rearranging Video Order as Host Click and drag any participant window to the location on the screen you want to achieve your desired on-screen order. As the host, click View. Click Follow Host Video Order. This forces all the participants to display your custom video order. Participant will not be able to change the order when this is enabled. Feature 11 Spotlight In the meeting, hover over the video of the participant you want to spotlight and click three dots. From the menu, click on Add Spotlight. This allows the spotlighted participant as the primary active participant and the participants will only see the speaker. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to towson.edu forward slash zoom.